Granny and Grandpa Pig are going on holiday. They are bringing Polly Parrot to Peppa's house so Peppa and George can look after her. <coughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Hello, Granny Pig. <coughs> Polly is very excited about her holiday with Peppa and George. <coughs> Hello, Polly. Ah! Hello, Polly. <laughs> Polly Parrot copies everything that is said. <coughs> What's in Polly's suitcase, Granny? This is Polly's food. George, can you guess what Polly likes to eat best? Chocolate cake! <laughs> no, not chocolate cake. Polly likes bird seed. Ah, bird seed! <laughs> can I feed her, Granny Pig? Can I feed her? Yes. It's very important not to give Polly too much food. Yes, Grandpa Pig. Grandpa, can Polly come out of the cage? Yes, but you must keep all the doors and windows closed so Polly doesn't fly away. Yes, Grandpa Pig. Goodbye, Peppa. Goodbye, George. Goodbye, Granny Pig. Goodbye, Grandpa Pig. Ah! Goodbye, Granny Pig! Goodbye, Grandpa Pig! <laughs> <laughs> Would you like a cup of tea? Ah! Would you like a cup of tea? <laughs> George has got Polly's bird seed. <laughs> George, that is too much bird seed. Polly will go very big and burst like a balloon. Pop! Ah! Burst like a balloon! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> What's that noise? Ice cream! <laughs> <laughs> Ice cream! Hooray! <laughs> Oh dear, George has forgotten to close the door. Ah! Ah! Ice cream! Ice cream! It is Miss Rabbit, the ice cream lady. Hello, Mummy Pig. <coughs> Hello, Miss Rabbit. Four ice creams, please. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. <laughs> George, you forgot to close the door. <coughs> Polly will have flown away. Don't worry, Peppa. I'm sure Polly is still inside. Polly's not here. Oh. <coughs> We've lost Polly. Grandpa and Granny are going to be very sad. Maybe we should try the garden. Look, what's that? What has Mummy Pig seen in the garden? Ah! It's Polly! Hooray! Ah! Daddy, how are we going to get Polly down from the tree? Ah! Don't worry, Peppa. I'll rescue Polly. Come on, Polly. Ah! Would you like a cup of tea? Ah! Oh, no. Polly has flown higher up the tree. Oh, dear. Be careful, Daddy. Don't fall out of the tree like you always do. Don't worry, Peppa. I'll be very careful. Come on, Polly. I wonder where George is going. George has got Polly's bird seed. Polly loves to eat bird seed. <laughs> George has got Polly down from the tree. Hooray! What's that noise? Daddy Pig's mobile phone is ringing. What? Hello? Oh, Granny Pig. Hello, Daddy Pig. Please, may I talk to Polly? Yes, of course. Hello, Polly. Are you having a nice holiday? Ah! Hello, Polly. Are you having a nice holiday? Teddy's day out. Peppa and her family are going out for the day. Daddy Pig has made a picnic. Peppa, George, have you got your stuff ready? Yes, I'm taking Teddy. Dinosaur. If you take your toys, you must look after them. Yes, Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> Are we all ready? Yes, yes Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. Then let's go. Dinosaur. <laughs> 
George has left Mr. Dinosaur behind. Oh, George, you should take more care of Mr. Dinosaur. Dinosaur! Are we all absolutely sure we haven't forgotten anything else? Yes, yes Daddy, Daddy Pig! Pig. Teddy! I've left Teddy! Where did you leave Teddy? I think on the kitchen table. Pepper, you really must take more care of Teddy. Teddy! <laughs> Here we go again. All ready? Yes, yes Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig! Here we go! This is the picnic area. We're here! Hooray! <laughs> ah. I love this picnic spot. It's so quiet and peaceful. It is Zoe Zebra with her daddy, Mr. Zebra the Postman. Hello, Mr. Zebra. <laughs> Have you got our post? Oh, oh, no deliveries today. It's my day off. Nay, we're having a picnic lunch. So are we. I know. Why don't we make one big picnic? Yes. <laughs> what a splendid picnic. Please may George and I leave the table and play with Zoe. Yes, Peppa. <laughs> Zoe, I've got my teddy. I've got my monkey. Oh, oh, oh. Dinosaur. <laughs> I've got a toy picnic set. Let's play picnics. <laughs> oh, it's the ducks. They always turn up when we have a picnic. We've got pretend orange juice and we've got pretend cake. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretend cake. It's very nice. Oh dear, I do not think the ducks want pretend cake. Oh well, that means there's more for Monkey, Mr. Dinosaur and Teddy. Mmm, delicious. Oh, oh, oh. Monkey says, the best cake ever. <laughs> Peppa, George, home time. Bye bye, Zoe. Bye bye. Are we all ready? Yes, yes Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. <laughs> Home time for us too, Zoe. Yes, Daddy. Cups, plates, monkey, Teddy. Oh, no. You shouldn't be here, Teddy. Peppa has forgotten her Teddy. Again. <coughs> Peppa and her family are home. Ah, oh, that's enough driving for one day. All I want to do now is relax. Put my feet up and watch some... Teddy! I forgot Teddy! Oh, Pepper! Now Daddy Pig will have to drive all the way back to the picnic spot. Uh, yes, of course. It's Mr. Zebra, the postman. I thought it was your day off today, Mr. Zebra. It is my day off, but Zoe's got a very special delivery for a Miss Pepper Pig. Here you are, Pepper. What is it? It's Teddy! You left Teddy behind, so we brought him home. Thank you, Zoe. Teddy certainly has had an exciting day out. But, Peppa, you really must take better care of him. Yes, Mummy. You are a very naughty Teddy. You must promise not to wander off ever again. Sorry, Peppa. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> Mysteries. Pepper and her family are watching their favorite television program, Detective Potato. I am Detective Potato, the world famous detective. Ooh. Oh. Please help me, Mr. Detective. I cannot find my flower anywhere. Hmm. Your flower is on the top of your head. Oh, thank you, Mr. Detective. That was easy. I could do that. <laughs> I'm sure you could, Pepper. Daddy, when I grow up, I want to be a famous detective. <coughs> George wants to be a detective, too. If you're going to be detectives, you'll each need a hat. Detectives always wear hats. <coughs> now you look like two proper detectives. <coughs> and we need one of those funny things that makes everything look big. A magnifying glass. I think we've got one in the kitchen drawer. Here we are. A real magnifying glass. Wow! 
Wow! How does it work? You hold it in front of things and they look bigger. The magnifying glass makes the little fish look big. Can I have a go? Wow! The magnifying glass makes George's eyes look very big. <laughs> <laughs> now what you detectives need is a mystery to solve. Daddy, what's a miss story? A mystery is something detectives are good at sorting out. <laughs> like finding things that are lost. I know, we can find George's toy dinosaur. <laughs> That's always getting lost. Dinosaur. <laughs> Mr. Dinosaur is not lost. Oh, what about your glasses, Daddy? You're always losing them. Oh, not today. I'm wearing my glasses. It's not fair. There aren't any Miss Stories. Would you like me to make you a mystery? Yes, please. <laughs> Daddy Pig is going to make a mystery. Now, what's on the table? The little fish, Teddy, a jack-in-the-box, and Mr. Dinosaur. That's right. Now look very hard and try to remember them all. The little fish, Teddy, a jack-in-the-box, and Mr. Dinosaur. Have you remembered them? Yes. <laughs> OK. You just have to go outside for a moment. I'll call you when I'm ready. It sounds like Daddy is going upstairs. And now he is coming down again. All right. You can come back inside now. <laughs> One thing is missing from the table. Do you know what? Mr. Dinosaur is there. Little fish. Jack in a box. So who's missing? Um, Teddy. That's right. Teddy's gone. Well done, Pepper and George. It was quite easy for us. We are famous detectives. Ah, but that's only half the mystery. Where has Teddy gone? Oh, I don't know. What are those little things on the floor? They're cake crumbs. The magnifying glass makes the cake crumbs easy to see. I wonder if Teddy has been eating cake. And the crumbs lead this way. Teddy's been eating a lot of cake. The crumbs lead into Peppa and George's bedroom. Oh, the crumbs have stopped. How can we find Teddy? Ask me some questions, but I will only answer yes or no. OK. Um, is Teddy in this room? Yes. Is Teddy in George's bed? No. Is Teddy somewhere high up? Yes. <laughs> Teddy's in my bed. Hooray! The mystery is solved. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Do you still want to be a detective when you grow up, Peppa? Being a detective is quite hard. <gasps> Next time, I want to be the one who makes mysteries. Like you did, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> George's friend. Peppa and her friends are at the playground. Pepper, Susie and Danny are on the ramp. Are you all ready? Ready! Then let's go! George is a bit too little for the roundabout. He is playing on the swing. Here is Rebecca Rabbit with her little brother, Richard Rabbit. Hello, everyone. Hello. <laughs> Can I come on the roundabout too? Hop on, Rebecca. <laughs> Let's go really, really fast. Richard Rabbit wants to go on the roundabout too. Oh, if Richard gets on, it means we can't go fast. Richard can play with George. Richard, would you like to play with George? No. George is a dinosaur just like yours. Let's go and see. Richard Rabbit is the same age as George. Richard wants to see George's dinosaur. Grrr, dinosaur. <laughs> George, can Richard play with your dinosaur? No. Richard, can George play with your dinosaur? 
No. George and Richard do not want to share their dinosaurs. George, it will be much more fun if you share. That was really nice of George. <laughs> Dinosaur! George does not like sharing. Richard, let George hold the dinosaurs now. <laughs> Richard does not like sharing either. What's all this crying about? George and Richard always cry when they play together. They're just too little to play properly. Can you two big girls teach them to play together? Of course. We can help them make sand castles. Good idea. Let's go to the sand pit. <laughs> George and Richard love the sand pit. George, Richard, today we are going to make sand castles. First, we fill the buckets with sand. We turn the buckets over and give them a little tap. Now, we lift the buckets. Hey, presto! Richard has made a sand castle. Hey, presto! And George has made a sand castle. <laughs> <laughs> you see, playing together is fun. Oh dear, this game has not gone very well. It was your brother's fault. He broke George's sand castle. Your brother broke my brother's sand castle first. Now, now, you two big girls are meant to be teaching Richard and George to play nicely together. That's right, we're big girls. And George and Richard are too little to play together properly. Hmm, I've got an idea. George, what's your most favourite thing in the whole playground? <coughs> seesaw! George loves the seesaw. <laughs> seesaw. It is a bit difficult to play on a seesaw on your own. <coughs> Richard wants to play on the seesaw. <laughs> seesaw, seesaw, seesaw. Look! George and Richard are playing together. Seesaw, 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 seesaw. <laughs> George likes Richard. Richard likes George. George and Richard like playing together. <laughs> Mr. Scarecrow. Pepper and George are playing at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house today. <laughs> hello, Grandpa Pig. Papa Pig. Oh, oh, hello, Pepper. Hello, George. Grandpa, what are you doing? I'm making a flower garden. Ooh. These seeds will grow into beautiful flowers. I drop the seeds on the ground. Then I cover the seeds with earth. Oh, where have they gone? The seeds have disappeared. That's strange. I'm sure I put some seeds here. Yes, Grandpa. We saw you. <coughs> well, they're not here now. Oh, well. I'll just have to use some more. As I was saying, I simply drop the seeds on the ground. A little bird is eating Grandpa Pig's flower seeds. Oi! Get off my seeds! So that's where all my seeds went. Into the little bird's tummy. <laughs> Two more little birds are eating Grandpa Pig's seeds. Oh, look! Ah! Shoo, shoo! What's all this noise? Granny Pig, the birds are eating all my flower seeds. So we're chasing the birds away. There's no point chasing them. They'll just come back again. Look! We need a scarecrow. What's a scarecrow? A scarecrow is a straw man that scares birds away. What a good idea, Granny Pig. I'll make one. Come on, everyone. Bye-bye, little birds. 
We're going to make a scarecrow. <laughs> this is Grandpa Pig's garden shed. There'll be plenty of things in here to make a scarecrow. First, we need two sticks and some string. We'll find them. <laughs> Pepper has found some sticks. George has found some string. Good. I'll tie the sticks together to make the body. Granny Pig has found some straw and an old sack. Lovely. I'll put the straw in the sack to make the head. <laughs> now the scarecrow needs something to wear. Here's a bag of old clothes. Ooh. George has found a dress. <laughs> Silly George, Mr. Scarecrow doesn't want to wear a dress. <laughs> Pepper has found a coat. Very good, Pepper. George has found a hat. Very good, George. Mr. Scarecrow needs a face. That's right. Would you and George like to paint a face? Yes, please. <laughs> George paints the eyes and nose. Pepper paints the mouth. Fantastic! Mr. Scarecrow is ready. Hooray! The little birds are looking for Grandpa Pig's flower seeds. Look! The little birds are back. Don't worry, Pepper. Mr. Scarecrow will scare them off. It worked! Mr. Scarecrow has scared the little birds away. Hooray! Good. Now my flower seeds will not be eaten. Oh, Grandpa, the birds look very sad. Yes, they must be hungry. That's why I brought this. What's that, Granny? It's a bird feeder. Grandpa, may I have some seeds, please? Come on, birdies. Lunchtime. Now the birdies have their own seeds to eat. Hooray! The little birds are happy again. <laughs> Peppa is glad that Grandpa Pig's seeds will not be eaten. But she is even more glad that the little birds will not be hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Today, Pepper is going to the park. <coughs> it's freezing cold. It is cold. <coughs> Quick, let's get our warm clothes on. On cold days, Pepper and her family wear their hats and scarves and coats. I'll put the roof up. Oh, and let's get the heating on. Everyone nice and warm? Yes, Daddy Pig. Then let's go. <coughs> This is the park. We're here. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, why are all the leaves red and yellow? It's autumn time, Pepper. In the autumn, it gets a bit colder and the leaves change colour. It's quite windy. Let's play a game to keep warm. <laughs> The wind is blowing the ball along. <laughs> the ball is in the pond. Hmm. I'll just use this stick to reach it. Just a bit further, Daddy. Be careful, Daddy Pig. Don't worry. I've almost got it. Whoa. <laughs> Daddy, is the water cold? A little bit. <laughs> The wind has blown the ball out of the pond. That's lucky. Yes. What a stroke of luck. It's getting even windier. Hold on to your hats. Oh, no. The wind has blown George's hat off. <coughs> Don't worry, George. Daddy Pig will catch your hat. Quick, Daddy. <laughs> It's in that little tree. Hmm. I'll just climb up and get it. The tree is much too thin to take your weight, Daddy Pig. So, how can we get George's hat? Simple. I'll give the tree a little shake. 
Hmm. Maybe if I shake it a bit harder. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I thought that sort of thing only happened to me. It's not funny. It is a bit funny, Mummy. I suppose it is a bit funny. <laughs> <laughs> Where's George's hat? It's on your head. <laughs> Here's your hat, George. Hold on to it this time. <laughs> The wind is blowing all the leaves off the trees. Look at me! I'm leaning into the wind. <laughs> the wind is strong enough to hold Pepper up. <laughs> the wind is strong enough to hold George up. Daddy, have a go. Uh, I'm a bit too heavy. Come on, Daddy. It's really fun. Oh, all right. The wind is strong enough to hold up Daddy Pig. <laughs> I say, this is fun. Come on, Mummy Pig, give it a try. But if the wind stops, I'll fall over. <laughs> the wind won't just stop. The wind has stopped. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. It is a bit funny. <laughs> <laughs> Now the wind has stopped, what can we do? Hmm, what's your favourite game? Jumping up and down in muddy puddles. But there aren't any puddles, just lots of boring dry leaves. And what do you do with dry leaves? I don't know. Jump up and down in them. Daddy Pig loves jumping up and down in leaves. <laughs> Pepper loves jumping up and down in leaves. <laughs> Everyone loves jumping up and down in leaves. This is the best autumn day ever. <laughs> <laughs> the time capsule. Pepper and her friends are at their playgroup. Today we are going to make a time capsule. What's a time capsule? A time capsule is something that will show people in the future how we lived. How? We'll put special things in this box and then we'll bury it in the school garden. Will it grow? <laughs> <laughs> no, Susie. It will remain in the ground for many years. Ooh. Now, what things should we put inside? A comic. Very good, Pepper. <laughs> Music. Very good, Susie. <laughs> a toy. Nay. A coin. Stamps. <laughs> a carrot. <laughs> oh, you do like carrots, don't you, Rebecca? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All those are excellent things to show our daily lives. Madam Gazelle, what will the future be like? What do you think it will be like? I think in the future, I will live on the moon. <laughs> and all my friends will come to visit. <laughs> <laughs> and I will fly a space rocket. Hello. <laughs> Now we'll record a message for the people of the future. Say hello to the future. Hello to the future. You're probably all living on the moon now and going on holiday to Mars. And flying around in space rockets. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. It is nearly home time and all the parents have arrived. Mummy, Daddy, we've made a time capsule. Ah, Daddy Pig, you're just in time to help us dig a hole. Yes, of course. Daddy Pig is digging a hole in the school garden for the time capsule. There. Can we dig it up now? Ha <laughs> ha, it will remain in the ground for many years. Oh, but I can't wait that long. Pepper, you are just like your daddy when he was little. Am I? Yes, I remember when I was his teacher. Did you teach my daddy? Yes, I taught all of your mummies and daddies. Didn't I? Yes, yes Mama Mama Mama. Mama. <laughs> When your mummies and daddies were little, 
They made a time capsule too. <gasps> yes, we did. We buried it next to a little tree. Can we take it up? Yes. I think we buried it over here. Oh, I thought it was a much smaller tree. Oh, it was a long time ago. The tree has grown a bit since then. <laughs> <laughs> I found something. It's our old time capsule. Hooray! I can't wait to open it. <laughs> Stand back, children. Yes, yes Madam, Madam Gazelle. Gazelle. What do we have here? Oh, an old comic. That was my favorite comic. A tin toy? My favorite toy. Music. My favorite record. And a very old carrot. That's mine. What a good choice, Mummy. <laughs> oh, and a videotape of your mummies and daddies when they were little. Ooh. <laughs> Who's the little piggy in the glasses? Oh, that's Daddy Pig. Oh, and that's me. Hello to the future. <laughs> what a squeaky voice you have. <laughs> You're probably living on the moon now. <laughs> Silly little daddy pig. <laughs> <laughs> Making time capsules is such fun. And finding them is even better. Rock pools. Peppa and George are going to the seaside with Granny and Grandpa Pig. <laughs> Peppa and George love the seaside. Oh, where's the sand gone? There isn't any sand on this beach, Peppa. No sand? But we wanted to make sand castles. Peppa and George love making sand castles. <coughs> no, no, George. Don't be upset. <laughs> there are lots of exciting things to do on this rocky beach. Like what? When the sea goes out, it leaves little pools of water in amongst the rocks. They're called rock pools. And in every rock pool, there's something special that the sea has left behind. Ooh, I can see something glittering. It's a coin. Wow. Maybe it's a pirate's treasure. Let's make a collection of all the things we find. Yes, we'll put them in George's bucket. <laughs> <laughs> what surprise is waiting in this pool? There's nothing special in this one. Ho, 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 ho. There's always something, Pepper. Look closer. Ooh, there is something. Yes, it's a crab. Ah! The crab is pinching Grandpa Pig's finger. Oh! Ouch! Naughty Mr. Crab. <laughs> Look, George. Mr. Crab is walking sideways. <laughs> George is pretending to be a crab. <laughs> Pepper wants to be a crab, too. We're naughty crabs. Pinch, pinch, pinch. <laughs> Pinch, pinch, pinch! Help! There are two naughty crabs trying to pinch me. Pinch, pinch, pinch! We're naughty crabs. Pinch, pinch, pinch! No! Oh, 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 oh. Shoo, shoo, shoo! You naughty crabs! Go back to your little rock pools. Yes. Let's look in more rock pools. What can you see? A seashell. Can you hear the sea in it? What do you mean? If you put a shell to your ear, you can hear the sea. Wow! I can hear the sea. <laughs> I love my seashell. George, can you find a seashell too? <laughs> shell! That's not a shell. Oh! Pepper's right. That's not a shell. George has found a fossil. What's a fossil? A fossil is the remains of an animal that lived long ago, when there were dinosaurs. 
dinosaur. <laughs> Rock paws are such fun. Yes, they're fun for us. But not for this little fish. A fish? Where? Ooh. Poor little fish. She's trapped. Oh. Oh? The little fish says she wants to go back to the sea. Maybe you could use your bucket to rescue her. Yes. Peppa is rescuing the little fish in her bucket. Don't worry, Mrs. Fish. You'll soon be back with your friends. Bye-bye, Mrs. Fish. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> I love rock pools. <laughs> Recycling. Mr. Bull, the bin man, is collecting the rubbish. It is early morning, so Mr. Bull tries to be as quiet as he can. But Mr. Bull is not very good at being quiet. Pepper and George are finishing their breakfast. What's that noise? It's Mr. Bull, the bin man. Hello, Hello Mr. Mr. Bull. Bull. Hello, everyone. Must be off. Lots of rubbish to collect. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Mr. Bull has emptied the rubbish bin for us. Good. Let's clear up the breakfast things. Can we help, Mummy? Yes, you can. Let's throw this empty bottle in the bin. Pepper, stop. What? We don't put bottles in the rubbish bin. They can be recycled. What does that mean? All the things we can't use again, we put in the rubbish bin for Mr. Bull. But all the things that can be used again are put in these recycle boxes. The red one is for newspapers. The blue one is for tin cans, and the green one is for bottles. Pepper, you have a bottle, so which box does it go in? Um, the green one. Yes. <laughs> this is fun. Now it's George's turn. Can you find a newspaper for the red box? <laughs> George wants to recycle Daddy Pig's newspaper. Oh, oh. I haven't finished with my newspaper just yet, George. You can have it in a minute. Oh, all right. Here you are, George. <laughs> Newspapers go in the red box, George. <laughs> now that we have collected enough things, we can go to the recycle centre. Hooray! Let's go! Mummy Pig has the bottles. Peppa has the tin cans, and George has the newspapers. Is everybody ready? Yes, Daddy Pig! Then let's go! <laughs> recycle, recycle, we're going to recycle. Tin cans, bottles, newspapers. <laughs> this is Miss Rabbit's Recycle Center. We're here. Hooray! Hello there. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Have you come to do some recycling? Yes, we have. Jolly good. Carry on. What's Miss Rabbit doing? She's recycling all the rusty old cars. Who can tell me which bin the bottles go in? The green one. That's right. And the cans go in the blue one. Well done, Pepper. <laughs> George wants to recycle the newspapers. OK, George, you can do the newspapers. <laughs> <laughs> there. That's enough recycling for one day. Yes. Let's go home. <laughs> oh, where's our car gone? Peppa's car has disappeared. 
Stand back! Miss Rabbit is recycling Peppa's car. <gasps> Stop! That's our car! What? Is it really? Yes! yes. Our car isn't old and rusty. <laughs> Silly me. I just love recycling. Yes, so do we. But we also love our little car. Yes, and our little car loves us too, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> the boat pond. The ducks are swimming in their pond. They are very happy. Here are Pepper, George, Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig. Hello, ducks. The ducks want some bread. Sorry, Mrs. Duck. We haven't got any bread today. We've got something much more fun. Pepper has brought her toy boat. And George has brought his toy boat. Let's wind your boat up, George. George's boat works with clockwork. Quick, George. Put the boat in the pond before the clockwork runs out. <laughs> George loves his clockwork boat. Mummy, can you wind my boat up? Your boat doesn't need winding up, Peppa. Peppa's boat is a sailboat. The wind makes it go along. I don't like my boat. It doesn't do anything. That's because there isn't any wind today. Maybe it just needs a little help. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your boat along. Hooray! <laughs> it went really fast. Peppa loves her sailboat. <laughs> Here is Peppa's friend, Susie Sheep. Hello, everyone. Hello, Susie. We're playing with our boats. <laughs> I've got my speedboat. Is it clockwork? No, it has batteries. Susie's speedboat uses batteries to make it go. Ooh. What a great speedboat. <laughs> Sorry, Mrs. Duck. <laughs> Here is Danny Dog with Grandad Dog. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Danny. Danny. My granddad has made me this paddle boat. Ooh. I say, that's impressive. How does it work? It's steam-powered. I just push this little lever. Wow. What a fantastic paddle boat. <laughs> Here is Rebecca Rabbit with her mummy. Hello, everyone. Hello, Rebecca. We're playing with our boat. I wish I had a boat. Rebecca Rabbit does not have a boat. I've got an idea. Luckily, I brought my newspaper along. I just need one page. Which page can we lose? News? Sport? Ah, fashion. Not the fashion page. OK, I'll use the business page. When I was a little piggy, I used to fold newspaper like this. What is Daddy Pig doing? To make a paper boat. Daddy Pig has made a paper boat. Thank you, Mr Pig. <laughs> George wants a paper boat too. Oh, oh, I suppose I can do without the sports page. <laughs> Please, can I have one? And me. <laughs> of course. Daddy Pig is making paper boats for everyone. Let's have a race. Good idea, Mummy Pig. We can huff and puff and blow the paper boats across. Everyone take a deep breath. <gasps> Ready, steady, blow! We have a winner! Uh, who had the sports page? That's George's boat. George is the winner. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> I like boats, and I like paper boats the best. Me too! <laughs> it's time to go home. Everybody has had a great time. Bye-bye! Bye-bye, ducks. See you soon. The ducks enjoyed the toy boats. 
but they quite like having the pond back to themselves again. <laughs> Traffic jam. Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig are making lunch for Peppa and her family. I've dug up some more potatoes. Oh, Grandpa, we've already got plenty of potatoes. You can never have too many potatoes. OK, but get the potatoes in the oven. The others will be here soon. Oh, oh we've plenty of time. It's only 11 o'clock. Peppa and her family are on their way. I wish we'd set off sooner. We're going to be late again. Don't worry, Mummy Pig. We've still got loads of time. We're always late when we go to Granny and Grandpa's. <laughs> Not this time. I've found a new way that avoids all the traffic. <laughs> oh, I wasn't expecting that. Peppa and her family are stuck in a traffic jam. Look, there's Danny Dog. And Grandad Dog. Danny Dog and Grandad Dog are in the traffic jam too. Hello, Peppa. <coughs> Hello, Peppa. <coughs> We're going to my granny and grandpa's for lunch. We're going to be late. It's one o'clock. They're late, as usual. <coughs> How are your potatoes doing? Um, they still need a bit more cooking. Granny Pig speaking. Hello, Granny Pig. We're stuck in a traffic jam. Don't worry. We're running late too. Grandpa's gone over the top with potatoes. See you in a bit. The poor dears are stuck in a traffic jam. Sounds like I've got time to get a few more potatoes. Grandpa Pig. We're moving so slowly. We'll never get to Granny and Grandpa's. Peppa's right. We have to try a different way. But there aren't any other main roads. I know a shortcut. Bye-bye, everyone. We're taking a shortcut. Bye-bye, Peppa. Good luck! Mummy Pig is taking a shortcut to get ahead of the traffic. The shortcut is very bumpy. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Are you sure about this? Trust me. Hello, ducks. We're taking a shortcut. <laughs> Look, there's the main road again. Well done, Mummy Pig. But we're still behind Danny's lorry. Hello. Welcome back. <laughs> oh, dear. Mummy Pig's shortcut has not worked very well. Good. Lunch is ready. And most important of all, the potatoes are done. Lunch is ready, but Peppa and her family are still not here. Grandpa Pig speaking. We're almost at your house. But the traffic is still moving at the speed of a snail. A very, very slow snail. They're almost here, but they're still in the traffic jam. Poor dears. <coughs> the food is going to get cold. I've got an idea. I'll get my wheelbarrow. What is Grandpa Pig doing? Granny Pig, <coughs> load the lunch into the wheelbarrow. Aye, aye, Grandpa Pig. If they can't come to the lunch, we have to take the lunch to them. <laughs> Look, there's Granny and Grandpa with our lunch in a wheelbarrow. <laughs> Ahoy there! Lunch is served. Is there enough for Danny and Grandad Dog to have some too? We've got enough for everyone. Hooray! Potatoes! <laughs> Good job you did lots and lots of potatoes, Grandpa. Oh, you can never have too many potatoes. <laughs> bedtime. It is almost bedtime. Pepper and George are just finishing their supper. <sighs> Daddy Pig. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm a bit tired. It's been a long day. George and I aren't sleepy at all. Can we play in the garden? But it's almost your bedtime. 
Can we play outside for just a tiny bit? Please, Mummy. Please, Daddy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but you must come in when we call you for your bath. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where they get their energy from. <laughs> Peppa and George are playing one last game outside before bedtime. Look, George. Lots of muddy puddles. <laughs> Peppa and George are wearing their boots. They are going to jump up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> Peppa loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. George loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> Look! The biggest puddle in the world! What a huge big puddle! <laughs> George, bath time! <laughs> Daddy, Mummy, we found the biggest muddy puddle in the world. I can see that. <coughs> Quick, into the bath. Oh, can't we just play outside a bit longer? <laughs> no, it's bath time. <laughs> <coughs> are you and George feeling sleepy? No, Daddy, <coughs> we are not even a tiny bit sleepy. <laughs> Pepper and George might not be sleepy, but I am. Me too. <sighs> Before bedtime, Pepper and George have their bath. <laughs> Pepper likes splashing. George likes splashing. Pepper and George both like splashing. <laughs> That's enough splashing. Let's get you dry and into your pajamas. Oh, can't we just stay in the bath a little bit longer? <laughs> Bath time is over. Now it's time to clean your teeth. Before going to bed, Peppa and George brush their teeth. <laughs> OK, that's enough brushing. Into your beds. Oh, I think our teeth need a bit more cleaning. When you're in bed, Daddy Pig will read you a story. <laughs> Peppa and George like stories. <laughs> When Peppa goes to bed, she always has her teddy tucked up with her. When George goes to bed, he always has Mr. Dinosaur tucked up with him. Are you feeling sleepy now? No, Daddy. We need lots and lots of stories. Daddy Pig will read you one story. Now, which book do you want? Um, the Red Monkey Book. <laughs> OK, I'll read you the Red Monkey Book. Peppa and George like the Red Monkey Book. Once upon a time... <sighs> oh, sorry, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a red monkey. And this red monkey had a bath. And cleaned his teeth. He got into his bed. And soon he fell fast asleep. Good night, red monkey. Peppa and George are asleep. Good night, Pepper and George. Sleep well. <sighs> now Pepper and George are asleep, Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are going to watch some television. And now it's time for the amazing Mr. Potato. I've been looking forward to watching this program. The amazing Mr. Potato is always ready for action. He runs fast. He jumps high. He never sleeps. <sighs> It is bedtime for Pepper and George. And it looks as if it is bedtime for Mummy and Daddy, too. Sports Day! Today is the school sports day. <laughs> Pepper and her friends are all here. The first event is a running. <laughs> the children have to run as fast as they can. I think I will win. I can run very fast. <laughs> I'm faster than you. Ready, steady, go! I can run at a hundred miles an hour. I can run at a million miles an hour. Peppa, Susie, stop talking and run! Oh! Rebecca Rabbit is in the lead. Oh dear, Peppa and Susie are right at the back. Come on, Peppa! Come on, Daddy! Rebecca Rabbit wins. <laughs> and Peppa and Susie are last. 
The winner of the race is Rebecca Rabbit. Hooray! Squeak, thank you. <laughs> I would have won if you hadn't been talking to me, Susie. Now, now, Pepper. Remember, it's not winning that matters, but taking part. Yes, Daddy. The next event is the long jump. <laughs> George and Richard have to see who can jump the furthest. George, run as fast as you can, then jump as far as you can. <laughs> George, ready, steady, go. <laughs> George has jumped as far as he can. And now it's Richard Rabbit's turn. If Richard doesn't run, he won't jump very far. Richard Rabbit, ready, steady, go. <laughs> Richard Rabbit has jumped further than George. And the winner is Richard Rabbit. Hooray! <laughs> George, remember, it's not the winning that matters, but taking part. <laughs> the next race is the relay. Each child needs to pick a parent to race with. Peppa, pick me! Pick me! But, Daddy, you're not very good at running. I was very good when I was a little piggy. But now you have a big tummy. But I can still touch my toes. <laughs> Nearly. <laughs> All right, Daddy. But you must run very fast. <laughs> the mummies and daddies will run the first part of the race and then hand the batons to the children. Mummies and daddies, ready, steady, go! Run, Mummy! Daddy Pig is in the lead. Come on, Daddy! Come on, Daddy! Thank you, Daddy. You did very well. Now it's my turn to... Pepper, stop talking and run! Oh! <laughs> Keep going, running! Keep going, everyone! And the winner is Emily Elephant. Hooray! <laughs> oh, Daddy, I haven't won a prize yet. Don't worry, Peppa. There's still one more event. And now for the last event of the day, the tug of war. Boys against girls. <laughs> when I say go, you must pull the rope with all your strength. The girls will win. <laughs> no, they won't. The boys will win. Ready, steady, go. Come on, boys. Come on, pull. Come on, the girls. Pull. I am pulling. Everyone is pulling so hard, the rope is breaking. Whoa! <laughs> and the result is a draw. So both teams win. Hooray! I love the school sports day, especially when I win a prize. <laughs> the eye test. Pepper and George are playing with Pedro Pony. They are going to jump in muddy puddles. Pedro has slipped and lost his glasses. Nay, where are my glasses? Without glasses, Pedro cannot see very well. George has found Pedro's glasses. George. Here they are. Thank you. Pedro, why do you wear glasses? I need to. The optician says so. What's an optician? My daddy is an optician. He checks that you can see clearly. How? Does he look inside your head? <laughs> he does an eye test. Shall I give you an eye test? Yes, give me an eye test. Okay. Interesting. Close one eye and say what you see. I can see George. <laughs> now close both eyes. Now I can't see anything. Hmm, can't see anything. 
Very, very interesting. I think you need glasses. Oh, do I? Yes. Pedro, home time. <laughs> bye, bye, Pedro. Nay. Bye, bye. <coughs> Mummy, I need glasses. What? Pedro gave me an eye test, and I need glasses. I'm sure your eyes are fine. No, Mummy. When I closed my eyes, I couldn't see anything. But no one can see anything with their eyes closed. Oh. What's this about needing glasses? Pedro knows all about glasses. His daddy is an optician. All right, Peppa. Let's take you to the optician for a proper eye test. <laughs> Let's go now. <laughs> George, would you like an eye test too? No. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper is at the opticians. <laughs> Mr. Pony is the optician. Hello, Pepper. Please sit down. <laughs> Now, what can I do for you? I need an eye test, please. Of course. Put these special glasses on, and then look at the chart. Mr. Pony is going to test Pepper's eyes. Can you read these letters for me, please? Okay. Um. A B C. D E F. Good. Now these numbers, please. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Very good. <laughs> And now these colors, please. Red, green, orange, blue, yellow, purple. Excellent. While I check your results, would you like to choose some glasses? Yes, please. How about these glasses, Pepper? They're funny. <laughs> <laughs> I know. What about these ones? They're too big. <laughs> <laughs> How about these? Wow, I like these ones, Mummy. Yes, Pepper, you look fantastic. I look fantastic. <laughs> <coughs> Good news. Pepper has perfect eyesight. Oh, so I don't need glasses. No. But I really wanted glasses. Oh. Hmm. I suppose you could have some sunglasses. Yes, sunglasses. Here you are. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> I hope it's sunny every day, so I can always wear my sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> Grandad Dog's garage. This is Grandad Dog's garage. Here are Peppa and her family in their car. Hello, Danny. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. What? What can we do for you today? We've got petrol, air for tyres, and a new automatic car wash. Uh, two ice lollies, please. Oh, certainly. Grandad Dog's garage sells lots of things, even ice lollies. <laughs> Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. I love our car. <laughs> and our car loves us too. Don't you? <laughs> oh dear, the car has stopped. It's no good. It won't start. I know. I'll ring Grandad Dog. Grandad Dog speaking. Help! Our car has broken down. Danny, we've got some rescuing to do. Yippee! To the rescue! To the rescue! Look, there's Danny and Grandad Dog. Hooray! Grandad Dog knows everything about cars. Hmm. Is it serious? No, you've just run out of petrol. What can we do? There's plenty of petrol at my garage. I'll tow you there. Grandad Dog is towing Pepper's car back to his garage. Grandad Dog is filling Pepper's car with petrol. 
Thank you, Grandad Dog. Here are Susie Sheep and her mummy in their car. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. <laughs> Hello, Susie. We ran out of petrol. Grandad Dog rescued us. Wow, that's exciting. See you later. See you later. <laughs> Oh no! All the air has gone out of the tyre. Will Grandad Dog have to rescue us? I think so. Grandad Dog speaking. I see. Don't panic, Mummy Sheep. I'm on my way. To the rescue! Can I go too? Hop aboard, Pepper. To the rescue! <laughs> to the rescue! Hello, Susie. We've come to rescue you. Hooray! Grandad Dog is filling the tyre with air. Thank you, Grandad Dog. <laughs> Here are Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig in their car. Hello, everyone. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Would you like some petrol or air? No, thanks. I want to try out your new car wash. Certainly. It's run by a computer. Hello. I am the car wash of the future. Ooh. First, soapy water. Then, a rinse. And finally, a polish. Wow! Sorry, I have malfunctioned. Oh dear, the computer has broken, and Grandpa Pig's car is stuck. Ah! Do something, Grandad Dog! Oh, I don't know how to mend computers. My daddy mended our computer at home. Uh, well, I didn't really mend the computer, I just... Good! Then this is a job for Daddy Pig. Hmm. Maybe if I just switch it off, and then switch it on again. Daddy Pig has mended the car wash. Hooray! Grandad Dog is the best at mending cars, but my daddy mended the car wash. <laughs> <laughs>